up guys, back for another vlog. We are in Chimino Seki today, and the first stop is the um, fish market here. It's a very well known fish market. I'm ready for all the fresh sushi. Let's go. sushi got some blowfish right here we've been wanting to try it you have to try it when you're in Shimonoseki they're known for their blowfish so of course we had to hit it up while we were in the market market was cool oh my gosh there's so much to see right there's like sushi everywhere which was pretty cool everything looks so delicious a piece of sushi ranged from 100 yen to like 600 yen even more super affordable and all fresh which is pretty dope we stopped at one of the sushi vendors grabbed some sushi Jesse grabbed some blowfish as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try some and see how it tastes. How is it? Stop. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like every other fish. Does it? How's the like texture? Chewy. It's like kinda like uh, like tuna maybe. Oh okay. It's actually pretty good. So can we get ice cream later today? Mm-hmm. Here. Try this. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Blowfish is good. Super good. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. outdoors we have been planning this trip for a while now um, we probably rescheduled it like twice because the the times that we were going to do this trip it was raining and I told Jesse I was like I want to go to Shimino Seki when it is nice and sunny because I definitely want to get a nice beach day in but um, right now we are here currently at the uh, Kanmon pedestrian tunnel entrance so the entrance is across the street, but I'm over here. You can see I was vlogging this whole bridge right here. You see the water. There is a tunnel entrance under water to get to this island over here. So we are definitely going to knock that out. Oh no, Miss Mochi is not having it. Oh, you got the sun in your eyes. I'm so sorry, Mama. I'm so sorry. But yeah, we're going to walk this tunnel. It's something that we definitely wanted to knock off the list while we were here in Shimino Seki. And so we're going to definitely do that we've already done we've already done quite a majority of the things that we wanted to uh knock off the list try out the fugu sashimi which was so good definitely go to that seafood market which we got to check off and then like do little things here and there like we want to check out these cannons um some of the art structures some of the statues that they have the uh london double decker bus we saw that um, hopefully, maybe get some thrifting in. I asked Jesse, I was like, do you think they have thrift stores here? And he was like, I'm sure they do. So maybe we'll check that out later on. My friend, Chihiro, this is actually her hometown. And so she gave me a bunch of pins. She dropped a, bu a bunch of Google pins for me to like go check out. And she was like, if you have any questions, let me know. So that was pretty cool that I had to get someone who is locally from here 
let me know where the good spots are. And enjoying the warm weather. Um, fall just started, so we're trying to get at least another beach day in, one more beach day in before it starts to cool down completely. But it's actually pretty hot right now, so um, yeah. Anyways, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and do this underwater tunnel. We are currently underground. This is the tunnel the long tunnel to go all the way to the island. So we're going to be underground and then underwater, which is so cool, so neat. Um, bicycle riders can bring their bikes down here, but they tell you to dismount and to walk your bike so you can't ride your bike out here. But still a cool option to get to the island, so I think it's cool. roughly about 780 meters long. Mike's little stroll. This is the halfway point. This is the mainland and then this goes into Kyushu. How cool is that? And we're walking there. We're almost out, we're almost out. And now we are on this side of the bridge. Previously we were over here. We walked underground. That's so cool. I don't believe that. <laughs> you don't believe it, we just did it. <laughs> Grab something quick to eat at the Convini. Bitmart has these family chicken sandwiches. Get the bread. It comes in this packaging. The spicy fried chicken, you know? Spicy chicken at the register. And make this sandwich. There's like a tartar, some special tartar sauce in here. So good. If you guys have not tried these yet, I'm gonna put you on these. They're so good. Probably one of the best chicken sandwiches I've had out here. It's legit. Go give it a try. All right guys, so we are here at the Fukutoku Inari Shrine. Check out how big that Tori Gate is. That is so cool. But yes, we've had our fair share of Inari Shrines, as you can see, probably in like previous vlogs, but of course we had to come out and knock this one out. This is about a 45 minute drive from uh, Shiminoseki, like the central city area. So if you do have some time to knock out and kill, then definitely come out and check out the shrine. Especially if you haven't seen any of these type of Inari shrines, they're pretty cool to go ahead and um, check out. Look at that centipede, guys. The mukade. That's why you pay attention. How'd you see that? I just saw it. That's why you pay attention. That's right. made it to the hotel room. After the shrine, we ended up going thrifting. We went to a couple of their stores. They have a book off here, as well as a second street. Two of our favorite. This is the Toyoko Inn. Was this one of the only hotels that we... It was this one and like another one. The other one was too far away from like the action. Like oh, was it? So this is the one that Jesse ended up booking. Did you book this through Hotels.com too? Book this through Hotels.com. I think it was like about 80 bucks-ish right roughly it's not a bad gig it is what it is literally we just come to a hotel to sleep at night but the beds are small we didn't realize that they're pretty much gonna be like twin size but that's what it is and um yeah going through issues ever since we got here we got to the hotel we checked in and like i said we already reserved a room before we got here paid for it everything but the issue is we forgot our passports and when traveling through Japan, they need the passport to check in. It just makes the process easier. I think they need to check your visa and all of that. It's a whole process. We've brought our passports before, so it's never really been an issue to check in. Today, this trip, you know, super quick. Pretty much a day trip because it's almost a few hours away from home, but we forgot our passports. So that was um, a bit tricky for the front desk to kind of figure out. We gave them our so license kind of got it handled that way to save you the hassle do not forget your passport do not forget your passports so it makes checking in to hotels smoother that was our bad not the hotel's fault at all we just have to put that on the checklist when we are going through everything to pack and stuff um second thing is 
I was hesitant on bringing the baby's pack and play because usually I'm thinking, okay, usually hotels do have at least a crib or a pack and play or something to put the baby in. So I don't think I'm gonna bring it. And um, decided not to bring it this time around. And Jesse called the front desk to ask if they have a pack and play or a crib or anything for the baby and they do not. So, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. Well, we're gonna have to figure this one out. Um, this bed is against the wall, so I'm just gonna have her in this corner. I'm probably gonna be there with her. And then the kids and Jesse are gonna figure out how they're gonna maneuver on this small bed. So we've got some, got a little bit of issues, but I think we will make it work. We always make it work somehow or another. Yeah. That's how our hotel situation is going. You know, usually it's good. Sometimes we do run into issues like this and it's okay. We always f figure it out at the end of the day. And I mean, I'm just thankful that we have a place to stay. It'll be okay. It will be okay. I'm not stressing out over it. We had a fun filled day. It's busy, it was super busy and we were exhausted. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, bye.